Welcome back. The topic of today's session is dynamic join setting. Dynamic join setting is another option to speed up queries and reduce resource consumption. Similarly, like optimized join columns, it can reduce the granularity at which a join node is processing data. Therefore, use the dynamic join option whenever the granularity at the join node is not relevant. Then you can get uh, a good ink, um, speed up. Here's more details about a dynamic join setting. Where do you set it? First of all, you set it in the join properties again. So you click on a join connection and you get this flag. A prerequisite is that you have multiple join, um, join conditions defined. So you have multiple lines here. Why is that so? Because of the meaning of the dynamic join setting. The meaning is that the requested columns of the join determine the granularity at this join node there. So let's say you have here two columns, region and country, and you request only one in the query. Then even though the, the join is executed, you still only have this single column process then. And the other column of the join is ignored because you are not requesting for it. This is different. I mean, the difference to the optimized join column setting is, for example, that for optimized join columns, you require that join pruning occurs. Here we are talking about executed joins, but the reduction of granularity comes from that only some of the columns for the join are requested. Now, there are also some limitations, because at least one join column node needs to be requested in the query. Otherwise, you will get an error message. For example, you can guarantee that one column is always requested by setting a keep flag. This keep flag must be set on the first data source of the join. If, this, um, if you want to have it uh, from the other source, then you can change the order of the data sources. Now, let's look in more detail in an example, because also this concept is pretty complex, so let's have a look at it. Here we have a query that's requesting only region, at least from the join columns. And you see the join column, or the join, was defined on two columns, region and country. Now, if the dynamic join column is set, then it means that because country is not requested in a query, purely because of the join, it's not requested and processed. So the join is only done on this column region. You can also see that in the explain plan. Now let's switch off dynamic join flag. Now again, country is not requested, but because it's defined in the join, it will be processed still at the no join node and the join will be done on both columns. If you forget or the query does not request any column of the dynamic join definition or of the definition of the join no node, then you will get such an error message. With that, I hope I gave you a overview or a un good understanding also of dynamic join settings. And I wish you good luck with your course assignments this week. Thank you.